So continuing on our list of projects that are trying to build a new internet, we're going to start off with Blockstack. And it says it's the easiest way to start building decentralized blockchain apps. So come down here. Let's see, tutorials, documentation. So this is for Hello World. If you want to build a single page JavaScript application that runs completely client side without any servers. Okay, we'll explore that. Um, you can come here for authentication, build a basic Toto application and learn about authentication and Gaia storage. We have the storage, which would build a decentralized blogging app using multiplayer Gaia storage. Hmm. Okay, I might be interested in that since I got my blog going. So here are some live dabs. Oh, I erased that. That's kind of <laughs> funny looking. Um, so we've got some live dabs built by the community. We have Graphite. Uh, which is collaborative decentralized docs. We have Stealthy decentralized communication protocol. We have Fupio, Fupio. Uh, it's a social microblogging app with tags. CanStack, decentralized Kanban sprint board. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Dappy Wallet, a multi currency decentralized wallet. And apparently there are more. So let's go through. Those one on one, here's some more information. Okay, don't care about that much. Alright, so let's check out some of the depths. Takes us to the GitHub, but right down here we can go to the actual app itself. Alright, so I need to sign in with block stack. See graphite docs. So what is it? Work anywhere without worrying about your data. Data. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. So, graphite is powered by Blockstack's open source software and is the first truly decentralized encrypted replacement for Google G Suite and Microsoft Office. Cool. Okay, so how it works. It never stores your identity or data. Okay, little diagram there. If you want to learn more, I am curious what's the features. All your documents in one place. Replace this messy folder organization with streamlined and flexible tagging. Good, because I've got a million folders. Encrypted sharing and collaboration to a user or your entire team. And learn more, pick a use case. Now that's fine. I'm curious, what is pricing? So, you can use it on your mobile as well. Fantastic. You've got different levels. You've got owner, administrator, manager, and user. So you can really do a lot with your teams on here. You've got an audit history. Oh, integrated with Medium, Slack, and Webhooks. So, you can post your Graphite docs as drafts to your Medium account, which is would be great for me. I, I have Medium, but I'm not dedicating enough time to it. When a Graphite doc is shared with your team, an alert can be triggered on the channel of your choice. Or connect Graphite to almost anything. Alright, okay, encrypted real-time data collaboration. All right, here's the nitty gritty is what I'm looking for. So we've got the team, which is 20 bucks a month up to five users, professional, 40 bucks a month up to 15, and enterprise up to 25 users for 60 bucks. Uh, but down here, we've got a self-hosted and self-managed, which is free. So I might check that out in another video if you're interested. Uh, definitely go take a look. What's the next one? Stealthy. So, go down to GitHub, stealthy.im. I am stealthy. Hi, stealthy. Decentralized communication. All right, we're not going to watch the video here, but if you wanted to, you could go to TC Disrupt Battlefield 2018, 2018 demo. Well, I've gotten some good press lately. I'm amazed that I haven't heard about them. All right. Okay, give some basic information. What is it? It's a decentralized end-to-end -end encrypted communication protocol built with security and privacy in mind. 
communication protocol. How much does it cost? Uh, it's free for personal use, includes basic features. For more advanced, we are planning to introduce a fee structure. Okay. So. You can go check that. That website doesn't give a whole, whole lot of info. You can check them out on Medium. I was hoping... What the heck, let's watch it. There's three tabs. Profile, DAP integrations, and messages. In messages, you can chat with other users <coughs> in a public channel. For example, the Tech Run channel, where you can talk about Disrupt. Let's switch to one of our contacts. Here, you can send secure, private, encrypted messages and even DAP content from our partners. One of our partners, Graphite Docs, is a decentralized Google Docs alternative. When I Alex got it. Okay, Docs so it's a editor, lot like Telegram is edited. what I'm seeing. Okay, so there you go. They're stealthy. Uh, we've got Fubio, a social microblogging app with tags. Go to the GitHub. We've got a live demo here. Uh, did I not see it? Dead simple microblogging application based on Blockstack project. Clone the repository. Okay, so you've got to actually install it. It's not something you can just easily go to online. Okay, well, if you're interested in that. CanStack decentralized Kanban sprint board. Um, if you know what that is, you might be interested in it. I do not know. Client side encryption offline. Build setup. Check out the documentation. You can visit the app in localhost. All right. Again, if you want to go and install, check it out. So, and something else I'm noticing with this so far is it's a lot like solid. It's not exactly super non-adept user-friendly. Um, seems like it takes a lot to get into it. View all live. Block stack. Wow, we've got a lot. Okay. Sovereign, a proof-of-stake liquid democracy governance platform by Dem Democracy Earth. Afari. Decentralized microblogging, Mistos, governance and financial management, Stealthy, Graphite, XPO.network, easily reward contributions from your uh, community, Intaxi, insight into your finances without sacrificing your data, decentralized crypto crowdfunding, decentralized machine learning, ooh, I'm really interested in playing with that actually, uh, Block you sign. Decentralized DocuSign, okay. Uh, crypto Wallet, Offline Portfolio Tracker, Decentralized Kanban app, that's the CanStack, uh, Open Source Cryptocurrency, and CoinKitty, it just keeps going on. Lots of cryptocurrency stuff. You would think that crypto is popular or something, but again, there's so much choice in all of this. Uh, block portfolio. All right, note right, decentralized note keeper. Okay, so all right, so am I supposed to start off by installing the browser? Allows you to create and manage block stack IDs, manage storage of your data, and explore decentralized apps. Block stack browser, no install required, re recommended for most users. We've got the block stack browser, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Well, let's see this one where we don't have to install anything first. Okay going to create a new ID. So 
So we have New World Optimist. Check available. Of course, it's available. Create a password. All right, it is ready. You can also view your secret recovery key, which I will not show you folks. All right, here we go. So, without having to install anything, I am now in Blockstack. There's all of the apps that if I choose to sign up with, I can. See, a to-do list. Because I have a lot of to-dos. Oh, <laughs> I said Toto last time. <laughs> ah, to-do. All right, so sign in with Blockstack. That's me. All right, so write a Toto. Nameless person's Totos. I am a nameless person. So what's my toto? Make more videos. Okay, can I press enter? Yeah, there we go. Ah, I see, and it gives me a little checklist. Very simple. Very simple, all right. Hello, Blockstack. All right, you're here because you sign, but you don't have the Blockstack app installed. Install Blockstack or sign in with Blockstack web app. <clears throat> it's me. Hello, nameless person. Okay, all I can do is log out. It doesn't allow me to do anything. This is that one static page. Oh, I see. So if I were to go and follow the instructions for that Hello World, maybe this is where it would be? Yeah, okay. okay. Um, try that later. The forum. Okay. Seems like a pretty active forum. Activity just a little as five hours ago. So, okay. any if you have any questions about any of this, you can go here into the forum and find lots of information. So that will help. Dot podcast. Ooh. Your subscription about hosting logout using this player you can subscribe to podcasts you find on the web. Would you like to enable this feature? Sure. Uh, wants to open. Oh, I don't have any podcasts. Pod two links. So if you had pod two, so search. Can I? Is this hosting one click self hosting? Okay. Give you a virtual private server. Docker. Uh, blockchain based director. No gatekeepers. Open search. Decentralized player app. The DAP. Alright. So search. Let's search for block stack. Oop, I'm sure they're okay. Ah, here we go. So, Crypto Bobby. 
Unchained, block stack getting in. Okay, let's see what the player looks like. Some of you may have heard on my other podcast, Unconfirmed, that last week I was at the Oslo Freedom Forum, put on by the Human Rights Foundation. I was incredibly humbled to learn from and meet some of today's most courageous advocates for human rights from around the globe. I met defectors from North Korea. Where okay, that was a little on the loud side. I hope it wasn't too loud for you. <laughs> All right, so there's that podcast. I might go put my own podcast on there. Graphite. We already explored graphite a little. It's the same. Mistos. Distribute funds. Multi-sig Bitcoin wallet. Okay. Travel stack. Now this might be something I'm interested in since I'm about ready to be doing a lot of traveling. Photos of the people who follow will appear on your feed. Start by following Travel Stacks account. Explore what others have posted or search for users. Let's explore. Ooh, Aurora lights never get old from the north. Yep. I'm currently in Fairbanks in Alaska and that those auroras just oh. Though I've never been able I've only been here a little over three years and I've never been able to get some of the really, really good views. This is taking a while. Okay, instead of it loading. I click on it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'll make a back. So definitely not Instagram worthy just yet. In addition to the music, you're probably hearing my daughter back there screaming about Fortnite. <laughs> so, try loading it one more time. Uh, profile page. So, nameless person so far. Okay, so I can upload my own photo, header image. Still having an issue with the feed. Okay. Still might come play on that. What's Safari? I am confirmed. Build my profile. If you are already on Afari, come find me. Okay, location link. I'm not going to upload a picture right now. Um, so, let's add co founder. Sure, I'll add you all. Don't want to leave anybody out. There's two privacy modes, decentralized or P2P. Okay. Can change these preferences at any time. Share something with the world. Hello, world. I'm doing a YouTube video on block, blah, 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 blocks. God, Kim. <laughs> Taps. Happy to explore. Alright, sure. Uh, let's go to feed. Sure, let's post it. Safely stored in your storage and ready. 
Okay, so seems fairly active. Today is the seventh, so just as of two days ago. All right. Facebook is trash. Safari is the way. Okay. Here's a couple of the co-founders. Uh, Oslo Freedom Foundation. Okay. So, this ought to be interesting. There's my feed. Maybe someone will reply. Here's my page. Very similar in feel to Facebook. So, even for the non-adepts, you might actually have an easy time navigating this. Okay, so, there's a fari. Oops. Okay, chat apps. We already looked at the demo for Stealthy. Again, it apparently takes quite a bit to get into that. What's Hermes? Unstoppable private messaging. Encrypted chat app built on Blockstack. So again, I'm gonna assume it's very much like Telegram. It does not want to allow me to log in. Speak truth to power. Get paid by replying to messages. Pay Bitcoin. Get priority attention from new people on the Blockstack network. Uh, and don't sacrifice a good user experience is their top priority, but uh, it's not working for me. So maybe it's down or maybe there's something I have to do to add it. Peer chat. So if I had friends on here, we could chat Coming soon. So find a profile. Looks like you don't have any contacts yet. Click on the contacts at icon to add friends and start chatting. But I don't have anybody. <gasps> so if you're on on peer chat, uh, you can private message me your information and I will add you explore this some more so wallets I'm not too interested myself in wallets you know if you've seen one decentralized encrypted wallet you've seen them all I'm sure I still wonder <clears throat> I still wonder if they have come up with one that can host literally every cryptocurrency uh, I know back a few months ago that was an impossibility to find, so of course I was forced to uh, house most of my cryptos on the, the uh, exchanges, which is never a good idea. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard about Bitfinex, but apparently they're having some issues now. Thank goodness I wasn't using Bitfinex. going to be interesting to see how that turns out. So, token portfolio apps again not going to explore all of those apps in progress. So we've got Diffuse.
Hmm, interesting. Insert a demo. Alright. Warning. I don't know what the volume is going to be like on this. So let's insert a demo. How do I? There's the cute equalizer playlist. Alright. So why can't I add it? to add music. Sources, what is this? Place where your music is stored. By connecting a source, the application will scan it. Keep a list of all the music in it. It will not copy anything. Okay, settings. Changes are saved automatically. Oh, looks so like you can change the background. Customize it a little. You can import, export. Okay, so I guess mostly just a music sharing service for all you creators out there. Interesting. Alright, so what's Casa? So, world first open source home sharing protocol. Does not have anything coming to Bitcoin Wallet soon. Beacon. Secure voting. Okay. See, this is what I believe the future of voting around the world is going to be. But I know that the U.S. is not going to adopt something like this anytime soon, which is a shame because it could save a whole lot of headaches. So, Postly. I saw this on. So, it seemed like a. Uh, I did notice when we were up here on Pure Chat, it says chat.postly. So, maybe this is their new version? It's not ready yet. What's Symmetry? Connecting the disconnected. Symmetry will give every refugee a, oh, a free smartphone with data and service. By combining biometrics and blockchain technology, the phone will give an instant access to aid uh, while in, uh, measuring impact in a secure and transparent manner. Oh, well, there you go. That is an interesting concept. So if you'd like to learn more about Symmetry, uh, you can go to the website, symmetry.com. Okay, so what's Eater? Eder. Secure artificial intelligence, affordable, accessible, and scalable platform to create secure AI models, train and deploy on a distributed network. Ooh. I am fascinated with AI. Okay. They don't have anything going just yet. Right? It just takes me back to the home page. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. Built the platform. Private machine learning. Crowdsourced intelligence. But they don't have it up and running yet. So, I definitely want to keep an eye on those guys. So what is this? Soak? Sock? Sock it to me. Let's see. Crypto crowdfunding. DAP is still in beta and thus subject to issues, I'm sure. Alright, so here we can go and take a look. 
It says two projects owned. Uh, is it? Okay, it doesn't let me click on any that one. So let's take a look at the projects. Favorites, still under construction, owned. Well, guys, this looks like it would be very user friendly, very nice, clean layout. So I look forward to what else they have. It seems like everything is still under construction. Settings, I can change the theme. Okay, not a whole lot to do, but a little sneak peek there. And Note Riot. I assume it's just notes. Sticky notes. Alright, so we got our totos over here. Work, home, uh, recycle, export. Oh, I <laughs> just exported nothing. Mastering markdown. Okay, so I'll use markdown, logout, favorites. Let's see, so new. Alright. Hello world. I have a lot to do. Okay, so you can add tags. You can change the palette. You can favorite it. Let's save it. Alright, hello world. I have a lot to do. You can use markdown. Toggle the preview. Okay, simple, easy. Milaxi, Milaxi. Not a whole lot of functionality for now, it's just saving notes. Not... Alright, well, there we go. That is pretty much everything that Blockstack has to offer at this point in time. Uh, I am very happy that it doesn't require installation at this point. If you're interested in checking out some more about it, I encourage you to give it a try. All right, so are there any of these that we didn't do? Let's see, get the dab. Explore projects. XPO Network, so we've got Blockstack, Kalu, Cosmos, Dharma, let's see, cryptographic tokens, protocol for next data frontier, the physical world, Haven is decentralized payment network, feature, user governed communities, got blockchain developers. Building a token curated community of blockchain developers, blockchain enthusiasts, building another community of them, crypto writers. Ah, so you can apply to join to any of these. Okay. I can tell that Blockstack is already kind of way ahead of solid. Insight into your fan uh, finances without sacrificing your data. So, log in with Blockstack. Alright, so once I'm in, so you can import all of your information, generate a tax report, you can import it from Coinbase, manage transactions. I don't, I'm not going to import my Coinbase just because. Okay, but at this point, if I don't do that, I can't do anything else with it. Okay. Let's see, Bellwether, decentralized machine learning for business. Get started. Okay, so you'd actually have to sign up. So 
the kind of AIs it has going. Automated AI platform. U-turn. Get some resources. Okay, but it's nothing that I can actually explore right at this point in time without signing up and getting more information about it. And I don't want to do that at this time. Block you sign. How far along are they? Okay, log in with your own self sovereign identity. Upload a PDF securely. Annotate it. You can collaborate socially. And then sign it. Finalize. Save the document as a smart contract to the blockchain. Oh, there's that same little diagram. Oh, it's because it's box hacks. That's right. Okay, explains a little bit more about it. Can I see if I sign up? Please enter your email. Okay. Now, I don't have any documents that I want to upload at this point. Actually, I know. I know one. Okay, we are working on supporting larger files, smaller document under two megabytes. So what I was trying to import was simply a little flyer for our local Halloween town. Um, so it can't support anything larger than two megabytes. And mine was apparently five megabytes, so. All right, see anything else? Not a whole lot you can do unless you know, smart contracts, templates. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if anybody is using this uh, and you have experience with it, let us know. Definitely curious about it, but not too curious. So, moving along. And sovereign. Is that one on there? Alright, get early access. Borderless peer to peer democracy for everyone, anywhere. Become self sovereign. Okay. Join our Slack or code with us if you want to help this project. But I don't see. It's actually able to manipulate it just yet. Am I wrong? Yeah, it just says early access. So if you are uh, interested in learning more about Democracy, Earth, and Sovereign, I really recommend you take a look at the project. They uh, definitely need some help. I think it would be a great thing. So I do believe that this concludes Oh, I guess it does not. So those are the popular ones. What are these? Popular decentralized apps? Ah, okay. IPFS stored on EOS. Emperopedia. So these are not the block stack apps. These are all the block stack apps, but we have, uh, this is an interesting little list, isn't it? So we have Blockstack, Steam, ZeroNet, Ethereum, IPFS, you can go on all platforms. Oh, 
There we go. So app.co if you want to explore lots of decentralized apps. Mastodon, I looked into Mastodon, have a few of those. Hmm, okay. Alright, so my next video is going to be focused on the next item on the list from all of the different projects that are trying to create a new internet. I will see you back on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any feedback, comments, suggestions, please don't forget to comment down below.